Now I have to tell you that whilst in London, I have learned a lot, and by learning a lot, I mean I've learned that England is not a city; it's a country, like South Africa is a country. <laughs> um, also, I've learned that London is the largest city in England, like Johannesburg is the largest city in South Africa. By the way, I also learned that Tokyo is the largest city in the world. But anyway, we're not going to be talking about Tokyo today. We're going to be talking about London and what I've learned in London and about London. Guys, I could have just taken a train. Look, Stratford Station. Right. So first of all, if you ever come across an Oyster card, or if it's your first time visiting London, please do not think that card is for you to go buy oysters. Like I did. <laughs> Basically, an oyster card you use for transportation for you to get around London by using a bus or a train. Now that's another thing. They do not call a train here a train. They call it a tube. And those red buses that you keep seeing in the background, those are not tourist buses. Actually, those are your buses like the My City buses if you live in Cape Town, or your Golden Arrow buses. I've also learned that it's okay to walk alone under a bridge in London. I do not have to put my wallet, my phone, and everything else in my bra just to walk through this bridge. Now, one thing I have learned about being a pedestrian in London, you have to be a very patient pedestrian because crossing just to the other side of the street can take up to three minutes. So you have to be very patient and be like me, like get a snack, eat a cinnamon bun while you're waiting to cross that road. Oh, and also when that robot turns green, don't forget to get your phone and run. Oh, and another thing that really shocked me was the fact that they don't really have cashiers working behind the till. Like you would see a one till or two with a cashier, but most of it is self checkout. And this was really a shock to me because I came here not knowing how to use the self checkout. I'm gonna make a video about this, so I'm not gonna talk much about it on this video. Oh, and they do have a Nando's here too. So I think I, I'm very early because most of the shops are still closed and they open like around 10.30. No they don't, they actually open around 11.30. Most shops open around 11.30 so if you are going to the mall during the weekend, do not wake up early and think that you're going to get there and the shops are open at 8 or 9. No, they open around 11.30. 12 p.m. Okay, everything is still everything is still closed. I'm not even hungry because I'd have something to eat. I had like a yogurt and a banana before I left. But maybe I should just get like a hot chocolate or tea. Just to pass time. So I got myself a frappuccino because it's so early. The shops are only opening at 12 and it's 2.11. So now I'm just walking around having nothing to do. Is that 